Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hi, and welcome to Postscript. I'm Lou Ann Riley, Grow Group and Discipleship Director, and I'm here with Pastor Dan, who just brought part three of our series on David. And this one we talked about better than kind. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Dan. Thank you. Uh, so we look today at this moment of intentional grace and kindness that right. David exhibited. Now, so tell me, when we left off last week with uh, Pastor Ken, we were in quite a famous story sure. of uh, Goliath and him facing the giants. And so this week, we're, we're quite a bit further into David's yeah. life. Can you just kind of tell me how we got here? Sure. Yeah, we have skipped ahead. Uh, but the good news is we will be going back mm -hmm. to pick those up. Uh, part of our reason for going ahead was purely practical. Uh, the story of Mephibosheth lends itself to serving, mm -hmm. obviously, emphasis of the sermon. Uh, but there's a great deal that happens uh, between Goliath and Mephibosheth, uh, the rise and fall of Saul's throne, uh, the death of Saul and his son, Mephib Mephibosheth's father, Jonathan, uh, lot, lots and lots of things, some of which we'll be getting back to in weeks to come. Okay, and so a question did come in around um, around Jonathan, where the scripture says, uh, for Jonathan's sake. Can you yeah. kind of fill us in on that? Yes, I can. So David and Saul's son, Jonathan, were the best of friends. Mm -hmm. And... Um, the scripture, I think, even describes them as, you know, being closer than brothers. Jonathan could see the handwriting on the wall. He knew that his father's throne and rule was coming to an end mm -hmm. and probably suspected that their lives were going to come to an end as well. And like any dad uh, would be concerned for their children, he was looking out for his children's welfare. He also was privy to the fact that God had anointed David to be the next king. And so... The most logical thing to do would be to go to the next king who just happened to be his best friend and say, hey, would you please look after my kids uh, mm -hmm. when I'm gone? And uh, David vowed that he would. Mm -hmm. And so this, in part, was fulfillment of a vow to Jonathan. So he's keeping his promise yes. that he made to his friend yes. in this moment of kindness. Um, I love how we talked about the parallels mm -hmm. uh, that we see where, it's, where we are. Uh, loved by God this way and so undeserving. And so what a great message today to point us to serving one another and demonstrating kindness in the Thanks. way that David did. So thank you for that. Yeah. And thank you for joining us here for Postscript. We'll see you back here next week. Thanks for joining us for Postscript. Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org postscript.